great morning to everyone. Today is a Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. What I'm going to do to, well, welcome to Danny Designs. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Get that out of the way. Uh, what I'm going to do today, uh, you saw some videos on the floor joists and me putting uh, putting those on there and you see you know there's still some boards that are kind of twisted right in there even though I put the block in there but that's fine this area right here I'm not securing real tight yet for some reasons you'll see later but anyway what I'm going to do today uh, is add some more support even though I don't need to I need to remind that the footers when I made when I made the the footer, it was 24 inches deep, rebar, concrete, and then I put the blocks on top. So it's the footer is is overkill, which is kind of what I've done with most of this structure. So what I've done here, I might have shown this earlier, is I put two blocks right here because right on top of this, there's going to be a beam that goes up to support the beam that the the ridge ridge beam I think is what it's called so there'll be a beam here so what I did was I put these here so when I put the floorboards on and then that beam comes down and sits it's gonna have more support so what I'm probably gonna do is cut another piece and put right in here size it up put it in right in this area here because that beam will be you know then sitting on a, a good solid area um, you know, the floorboards will be here, and again, like I've said, it'll be putting pressure down on this. Everything will compress down to the 24-inch uh, uh, footer under there. I got that door in the way right now, sorry. Then, uh, like I said, this beam will go up, and the, I'm pointing to the sky. Can you, see, can you visualize? <laughs> I'm visualizing. So the beam will sit here, go up. The ridge beam will sit on this end here. It'll run the length of the house. About 15 feet where I put the double blocks, which I've talked about and shown before. Put a, a, a bigger footer right here. Uh, doubled the blocks up in the middle. Another beam will be sitting going up with the ridge beam going across it so it'll have the ridge beam will have um, support right there with the beam going up support pole or beat ridge pole or beam or whatever you want to call it same thing here so I've got us got to put some stuff in there I'm gonna scab across there I'm gonna put some more uh, supports going across I'm gonna create a good area for that beam to sit on so you know that just so I don't have to be exactly perfect when I put that beam down there but I definitely don't want it in the middle of these two floor joists so what I'm going to create basically is just a almost a solid area right there for that thing to sit on to give it more support then I'll have these beams across here supported with some scabs so really strengthen that area up more than it needs but that's what I'm going to do is just really strengthen that up right there then there's going to be a long span, about 25 feet, maybe a little less than that, where the ridge beam will have to sit on another beam that goes up. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss for words what that would be called. But it's anyway, it's the big pole, which will be square, won't be a pole, a beam that will be on its end, that will go straight up, that the ridge beam will sit on and it'll come across and, and then come up from here so i've got to do the same thing here strengthen this area up right here you know so i'm gonna gonna um put another two by across here and it'll i'll make it fairly fair you know longer so it'll run you know and, and distribute the weight along this edge here even though 24 inches down there you know so uh, it'll distribute the weight across here. It'll sit on this point right here. 
So I've got to, you know, add a, a beef this up, this area right in here, because that, that, that beam will be sitting right on this area right in here, coming down. So I'm just going to strengthen this up, put a, put a, another one right across there, uh, to distribute the weight, like I said, maybe even three, maybe I'll, we'll see, but do something similar that I did down there, um, at the other end. So that's, that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to get organized, uh, get all my tools organized and, uh, be right back with you. Okay. All right. Got that board in there. You know, again, what is it? Four feet long, something like that. It'll help distribute the weight in that section there. Uh, see how it's a little bit imperfect? Well, that's fine because I am going to have to go through and plane some of these high spots down. So I don't mind it being a little bit off. I'll just plane that down as I go you know, when I start putting the floorboards on. So anyway, uh, this is where I'm at right now. Let's, let's screw those down in place here. Let me see if I can get this camera looking decent towards where I'm working. And again, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm putting these screws in right now and uh, to hold it in place, secure it a little bit, and then I'll come back with my air gun and uh, use my uh, air nailer to secure a ton more of this stuff. So right now I'm just kind of getting them in place. Like so. Sometimes, sometimes the nailer will stick, sometimes it will, I mean the screw gun to get these things on, and sometimes it won't. This was hard wood, hard oak. So I'll put these in here right now, and then I'll uh, cut some more pieces and show you what I'm going to do there. So this thing, man, I tell you what, sometimes it'll break these screws off because it's so tough, which is fine because it's still got a, a screw all the way through it. It just breaks the head off sometimes, which I don't like, but the wood is so hard that it just happens sometimes, and then it, it's okay because it's secured in there, so I don't have a problem with it. It's just like a nail, except that, you know, it's got threads on it, so it shouldn't move. Let's see, and I went through and pre-drilled holes also uh, for these screws to go in. So, all right, I think that's all I wanted to do for that part as far as screwing it down in place. So I will turn the camera off, do some more measuring, and again, secure this area right in here make a you know, more of a, a block I'll probably put oh I don't know I'll figure it out it's like I'll, I'll I'll think of something try to do it didn't like it and then I'll come back and redo it so that's where I'm at right now it's just determining how I want to piece this stuff together in there okie doke I got this piece in here put a little spacer here it's fine now I'm going to put a We'll call it a block from here to here. And I can't do anything over here yet. And like I said, there's a reason. But I'll be able to support this right here. That way I got that one in there. I'll be able to pull this back over, start straightening that out a little bit more. And uh, that way pretty much this will be solid the way I want it. And then like I've said, there's going to be something that happens right here. So I'm not messing with that right now. And then I'll, uh, I'll go to the middle and work on that part. So I'm going to cut a block, put right there finish this section up for the day and then I'll move down to that middle section okay well I tell you what okay I started recording I tell you what when those boards start turning look at that that's a true two inch maybe a little bit thicker it started twisting it took me look at the clamps I had to get a ratchet strap try to get that thing to twist back I got it pretty dang close key thing is I'm still 16 inch on center so from there it's still 16 inch so that's that was one of the key things too and and uh, twisted, but I got it back, and I got this thing all 
a good area there when that beam sits down on top of that it's going to be nice so good and strong no worries there uh, okay now uh, move to the middle probably leave those straps on there just for a little bit yeah I screwed it in there pretty good well and then like I said I'm gonna come back with a nail gun and nail all this in so okay headed over that way here's the top view of those four blocks sitting there down on the this is where the beams gonna come down put support on here so I'll probably uh, you know, put a couple scabs on first in this area probably three I'll put put one on this one which will help straighten that out put one on this one which again will straighten those out and then one where my foot is and then I'll put uh, at least you know one support through here to help just kind of lock those in all right well that's what that's my goal right now is to i need to put some scabs on there first and lock those in make them stronger across that way and then um probably put a piece in here and a piece in here kind of a block but i want to make sure it touches the uh, cross member there too so that's where all the pressure is going to be down okay and these lengths really don't matter i guess the longer the better you know but th this is mainly just to hold the middle together a little bit better nothing you know it, it'll have a little down pressure on it obviously from the beam but the main part of the beams going right there so I, i'm you know i might do some more anyway uh so you can see that right there so now i'm going to go put three scabs on here first okay wind is blowing hard so i'll speak loud so i'm not if it sounds like i'm yelling i'm just speaking loud so you can hear me i got that cross member in there that one and that one so i screwed them together and again i even have to remind myself you know i don't have to put a whole bunch in there right now i'm just screwing them in place for now because uh, i will put bolts and nails in those uh, to secure them even tighter I, I i will overkill <laughs> that's for sure uh, so anyway i'm gonna take a little break i'm gonna come back and put uh at least one maybe two uh blocks cross members over there at least one maybe two right there because remember that is where the pole beam is going to sit that goes up to the roof beam um, so anyway I'm gonna take a little break then I'll come back get those you know two three four blocks in there to secure that whole area make it really solid for that beam and I'll be back in a jiffy <laughs> all right okay uh, you see what I did there put the one block in between there I'll, I'll end up putting another one right there and uh, then I will eventually, like I put a scab on right there, I call those scabs where I join in between two joists there. I'll eventually, every once in a while, put one down through there just to help, not just to overkill. I don't need to, because I've got blocks underneath it. I'm gonna end up supporting, you know, underneath the floor joists here after I get the plumbing in place, and or I level it up, and see like right here, I have the blocks under here already, just to add that extra support so it won't bounce just to you know overkill and uh, but I'll put some scabs on down through there just to maybe straighten some of the boards out keep them in place a little bit better but I already put the blocks like you see here uh, but I'm on anyway I'll, I'll, I'll finish this up I just can't do it today it's one of those things uh, I need 8 inch width and I want to make sure they're 8 inch width so I've got to find some good lumber change the saw around so that it cuts lengthwise or use get my skill saw out cut that thing up like that uh, so that it'll be uh, nice and solid and like I said right here same thing I need a good 8 inch height and I'll put another block you know right across there just to make that a solid piece also basically so anyway uh, made progress today hate the wind like this but it, it's fine 
uh, better than that storming and stuff that we've had lately. So, had some success.